Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have three home decor DIYs that are thrift flips that you can do at home. These home decor items are gonna look really good and save you money. If you don't have the DIY touch, don't worry. These are super easy to do. Um, if I can do it, you can do it. So let's get started. All right, so I found this really pretty vase at the thrift store. It was like a dollar or two dollars. I really love it. Um, this color is not gonna work though and I'm just going to spray paint it black and then I want to distress it and try the um, dirt technique where you rub on some dirt to get a distressed look. I actually have never tried it but a lot of people are doing it so I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. So let's go ahead and put on the first coat. As you can see I'm very comfortable right now. I have my my big oversized robe and pants. I love a robe. Also, got to show off my F4 shoes. <laughs> All right, let's go. is almost dry to touch I mean it is pretty dry to touch so I'm going to start adding some dirt to it Ooh, that looks really good already as you can see some of the paint is chipping off I think it's because it's not fully dry and I probably should have waited for this to dry completely and then apply a second coat and then the dirt but I guess I'm being a little impatient right now because it's cold all right so I've been doing the combination of spray painting and then layering dirt this one's been giving me problems um, so I did the final coat of spray paint I guess it's dried and now I'm just going to add a final layer of dirt, just very gently. Alright, I'm, I'm cleaning it off with the wet towel here, very gently to make sure that I'm not scraping off the paint. It's actually looking really good. Look at all that nice texture. the shape of this I love the height of course I don't love the wonky color um, so I'm gonna give it a coat of this rust-oleum spray paint right here in the satin finish and the color is smoky beige I've never used it before so I hope it looks good so let's give it a try okay so I'm outside it's literally 25 degrees uh, Fahrenheit outside it's freezing so I'm gonna do this as fast as I can and then bring the vase inside some dirt and rubbing it up. I'm going to try a combination of spray painting and then um, adding the dirt I think it's still too dry so that the dirt is not really sticking to it So now 
next step, I'm taking a wet rag and just wiping down all the dirt. You can definitely leave more than what I did um, to have a more rustic feel. I just wanted something a little bit more clean and so I'm really getting most of it off. I have this really nice painting. I think it's about 16 by 20 inches and I really really like it. Um, what I did is I um, I am reusing the art that was already in there. I actually really like it. It says Monet on there. I'm not sure if it is or not. Um, what I didn't show is I added this white uh, mat around it. Essentially I just took some white cardstock and then cut um, the little hole for the photo. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint the frame. Um, I think an off-white or white. So let's go ahead and just remove everything. All right, so I managed to take out the artwork and the glass without breaking it. I almost did. Um, and so originally I was going to spray paint it this smoky beige but it's a little bit too creamy for me and I want it more white. So I'm just gonna take this just like apple barrel paint and I'm gonna do a little mixture of mostly white with a little bit of the, let's see what color this is. Um, I'm not sure what the color is, but this creamy color, that's a, a little bit too much. Um, and then I'm just going to paint that on there. All right, so like I said, I want this to be slightly off-white. What I'm gonna do is start mixing a little bit of this beige into the white and just mix that up. I think this is gonna be plenty. So it got dark and I brought this inside and after drying I gave it a second coat um, making sure everything is nice and covered. <laughs> Alright, so the frame is dry, um, but I'm going to give it a clear coat of this Krylon UV um, acrylic coating. Um, which I guess helps with the UV, but it also just helps protect the paint since it is acrylic. I just have this on hand because I use it in my paintings. So I'm just going to give it a coat of that. After it's completely dry, it's time to put back the glass. I was having a little trouble with it. Uh, I think one of the staples was just on too tight and it just would not go in. After going in, I'm um, giving it a good wipe down with the rag and then here is the mat board that I used. Also comment below if this is the Monet, I'm not really sure.
today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed actually doing these. I'm not going to lie, the faces gave me a little bit of work, but that's okay. Um, essentially, when you're doing thrift flips, I find like they're just so cheap. It does, you really can't fail. Um, so it's really nice just experimenting with different things. I'm glad I finally tried the dirt technique. I will definitely be doing it more often. Let me know down in the comments which is your favorite. Um, personally, I love the small black vase. I think it has really rich texture and I don't know, there's something about the black and the dirt on it. I don't know, I really like the texture. Also, go ahead and uh, check out my Instagram if you haven't already. It's gossaprefine.com. Um, also, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more DIY content. I really like making these YouTube videos, so I'm going to keep going at it. So, thank you so much and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!